Indy Mogul. Someone has cursed you. Is the Lamia the most feared of all demons? For the first three days, the spirit torments its victims. After that, it will come to take you. Take me where? To burn in hell for eternity. After a very successful foray into summer blockbusters with the Spider-Man franchise, director Sam Raimi returns to his roots with Drag Me to Hell. And why not, since the horror genre is experiencing a renaissance these days? But can you go home again? And even if you can, is it a good career move? Not counting his three Spider-Man movies, not a single film directed by Sam Raimi has made more than $35 million at the box office. Talk about a horror story. But Raimi doesn't have a cult following for nothing. His blend of horror and comedy on a budget has made him a unique voice in Hollywood. But considering he hasn't made an all-out horror film since 1993's Army of Darkness, which was, by the way, awesome, has he still got it? From the trailer, he certainly seems to have the horror part down, but how about the comedy? Casting Justin Long is a good start, but Alison Lohman seems a little too typical Hollywood ingenue for Raimi. Although, given that his first choice, Ellen Page, had to drop out due to a scheduling conflict, I guess he had to take what he could get. At least she's not Kirsten Dunst. So many horror movies this year! My Bloody Valentine 3D, Friday the 13th, The Haunting in Connecticut, The Unborn, and more! My favorite so far is My Bloody Valentine 3D because I really like the way they use the 3D technology. What's your favorite horror movie of 2009 and why? Write your answer down below and after the break we'll find out if audiences think this latest is the greatest. Filmmakers, do you have 15 seconds? Next New Networks is partnering with the Ignite Film Festival and we're looking for 15 second films. Quick, fast and fun and you'll even have the chance to have your movie screened in front of hundreds of people in New York City. Learn more at the link below. My name is Matteo, and I see movies everywhere. You're watching Indie Mogul. Sam Raimi, years ago, was a master of horror. Does he still have it? Yes, he does. Mm. Um, kind of. Mm, all right. Well, what was he missing this time around? Um, I just think the acting was a little shady. From who? Um, the lead role. She played a very good lead. I mean, she played a very good role in that. The script wasn't really written for much acting, but uh, but the part that she has, she didn't really bring the, it. The bar was set low, and she still didn't, didn't get, bring it. Oh, no. no. The other guy uh, who Justin made Long? Justin Long yeah. overall, he could have stayed out of it. Oh, really? Was it just one of those boyfriend roles where he's like, yeah. I feel bad for you, but I don't believe you? <laughs> right, right, right. right. <laughs> well, was it scary? Um, it has scary parts. A few um, jumpy parts. Actually jumping a couple of times Ooh. and yeah, it was like the bed scene, that was the funny part. Oh yeah, I heard I heard this gypsy lady's really gross. <laughs> yeah, like to wake up on that, that was really <laughs> jacked up. The elements are there, the clever, how much was older movies were there, and um, you know, it wasn't overdone. How would you compare it to other horror movies that have come out this year? Because we've had so many. Uh. Well, the last horror movie I seen was Friday the 13th, and it was slightly better than that. You know, this is PG-13. Did they cop out a little bit on that, or? I don't, you know, um, I'm one of those guys that don't think that, you know, someone has to be, has to be uh, dead because they're not virgins anymore. I, I like the element of the, uh, the creepiness of it, the uh, supernatural element, if you will. Um, and everyone can be creeped out at any age. I like PG-13 horror movies because it's not like sex scenes and stuff like that. And, you know, maybe I'm cheesy. I agree with you. They, <laughs> that's in their own movie. Keep it <laughs> departmentalized, uh, right? Yeah. So, oh yeah, Friday the 13th is pretty R-rated. Yeah, very, very. It's not <laughs> yes. something you can... I remember being like, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> that was the only downfall. That's why I think this is slightly better. Oh, good, yeah. That was the most horrifying part. What's going to happen <laughs> next? I don't want to see that. Are you a Sam Raimi fan? Like, Evil Dead, <laughs> Army of Darkness? I am an Evil Dead fan. I like that. Is back this in as the good days. as Evil Dead? Two different concepts. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. What do you think? Sam Raimi, should he be making these movies or Spider-Man movies? What's his forte? I like I like his uh, scary movies more. What do you give it on a one to ten? Um, six. Eight. Nine. Adrian, anyone else? I think that's it. Everyone's seen Terminator. 
looks like Drag Me to Hell is unable to drag anyone into theaters, but I guess they're not missing much as audiences give it a 7.5. And are you my Facebook friend? If so, this week we've been talking about cool new stuntman Damian Walters, the new Tom Cruise and Cameron Diaz film, and if Buffy should go back to the big screen. If you're not my Facebook friend, then you've been missing out on all this cool stuff, and we've been missing you. Hope to see you over there. I'm Grace Randolph, and you've just gone beyond the trailer.